It is once again time for another Mule Deer video. Hopefully today will be the day that we at least seal the deal on a diamond or rare. We got trolled last time. Hopefully this time will be a little bit different and my gun's not equipped. I should probably equip the, the rifle. There, there we go. Okay, <laughs> we're equipped now. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and get these guys taken down. There's a couple of level threes right here. You guys are new to the channel. On uh, the non-diamonds and rares, I tend to use a caliber too big just to kind of speed up the kill times on animals. So that's what we're doing right now. We got the 300 Magnum that I cannot hit a shot with. And we're just taking down as much as we can of these level 3 mule deer over here. That is a solid level 4, but nowhere near diamonds. So let's get a bullet into him. Hoping that was vitals, but it doesn't look like it was, which is a little bit unfortunate. Ooh, that shot got him though. That shot definitely got him. So this is our level four. Let's go ahead and see what this guy ends up scoring. That's a 251, 11, a solid looking buck. Kind of wonky actually. Wow, he's mega wonky. Well, I don't know what zone this guy has, but he's kind of roaming along towards one of the lakes in this area. So I think we're just going to go ahead and pop him once he moves out from behind this tree. Because that is a solid four. Definitely not too bad. Let's see what this guy scores. 251.53. So pretty high on that estimate. Another solid buck. So the primary goal of today is going to be searching a few of the areas that we have not been to yet for mule deer. And this lake right here just happens to be one of them along with that lake down there. I think that's really the only spot aside from this that I have not checked for mule deer. So we're going to hope that we can find some good herds today that are somewhat in the open so that we can hunt them. And uh, yeah, hopefully have some more bucks to kill every run. Ooh. Okay, that's a really good buck right there. Let's actually go ahead and use the correct rifle on this one because that's got potential to be something huge. And man, I wish this bighorn would shut up. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, let's go ahead and get this shot done. Let's see if we've got ourselves a potential diamond. Oh, my gosh. It will not stop doing that. Let's just let's get this done with. And, and that second one moved the second I shot. So we didn't get him, but we got the one that matters. Ooh, there's more over there. And there's a couple of really nice fours in that group, too. Let's just drop one into each of them. Oh, there was three. Well, we figured out where all the giants are. They're at this lake, of course. Of course, the last place I look, or one of the last places I look, has all the big bucks. But to be honest, that is not a terrible spot for them to be in. I, I think we can make that work. We can probably place the tent right there and have pretty good view of them. Yeah, I think this will actually work out nicely. So this is that really nice level four right here. Please let this thing be close to diamond at least. 291, bottom of the estimate. Ah, oh, man. You hate to see it, but it is what it is. There's another herd right there. How far away are those? Uh, they're decently far away. I can probably shoot one of them without it being too big of a problem. We shouldn't risk deleting our zones. Let's see. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I believe this is where we shot those two fours from across the way. Yeah, this is definitely one of them. 241. And there is the second one. I'm really interested in like how this zone is going to work out because I think this might become one of our main zones. I mean, it's got solid deer in it to start. There's a lot of bucks there. I think it's going to be a good one. That's a four as well. Yeah, this lake's kind of loaded. You know, I think we actually may have heard manage this coastal zone down. We've got ourselves, I believe it's three or four level twos plus a really small level three. So I, th I think we're pretty much managed at this zone, which means we can dedicate it to, uh, to another area. We can dedicate this tent to another part of the map. There we go. The second tent is picked up. So now we can move on and place these tents somewhere over here, which is going to be really nice. It's going to be good to finally get done with this coastal zone and be able to start moving into like another part of the map and start managing down other parts also. I'm hoping that this coastal zone will be the same way. It would be nice to be able to dedicate these tents to another spot. Last time I was here, there was not much to shoot. So fingers crossed. Holy, that's a big four. Well, looks like we got a little bit more time we got to spend here. So I reset the time to see if he was the only one here, and yeah, there's one other that we need to shoot, that level three. 
Um, aside from that, though, I think they are the last two that we need to kill in this zone before we can move on to another part of the map. So let's just drop a shot into both of them. And that should allow us to hopefully get some smaller respawns. I'm, I'm hoping that we'll get at least one level two back in the zone on the next run. Otherwise, it might be a little while before we can move on from these coastal zones right here. Well, this is the problem I was expecting to run into. Um, yeah, we just spooked off a group of mule deer and I have no idea what they even were because we didn't get a chance to see them. The only one I've seen is this solo doe right here. This is why I hate hunting this lake right here. A lot of people ask me why I don't do a rancho grind for whitetail. Lakes like this are the reason. Look at this. This is just, this is miserable to hunt. And believe me, there's lots of whitetail zones that would be like deep in the trees like this. So this is why we don't do a rancho great one grind for whitetail deer now. Back when I used to do them, they were spread around the map very different differently, like in a lot easier locations. And now it's just, it's a struggle trying to do whitetail on this map. So that's why we don't do any whitetail great one grinds here. Luckily, that's a very small level three. So that is the good thing. That's a small enough three to where we can probably just ignore him. Well, there's a solo three. Once again, I'm probably just going to leave that. Oh, but I can't leave those. No, no, I can't leave those. Well, that is a massive zone. Oh, no. A massive zone in the worst possible location. You hate to see it, man. Well, let's go ahead and do a long range sniping shot here if we can. And there he goes. We got him. We got the four at least. If you're enjoying the content so far, please consider hitting that like button. It's a massive help to the channel. It only takes two seconds to do. And leave a comment down below. I'm going to be pinning the favorite comment that I see in there. And then if I see one that's even better, I'll pin that one in place of it. Also, subscribe if you're new. Now let's get back to the video. And that guy's bugged, so let's just pop him as well while we can. Now the most difficult part attempting to put down a tent here i think this will work though yeah this works this works so we'll just we'll just pop this right here there we go finally we did it mission accomplished to be honest i think that that spot over there is going to be such a rough area uh, that i won't be able to place a tent really anywhere near there so i think this might be the only zone where i just don't claim them i'm just going to hope that they stop spawning here eventually or that they get managed down because it is going to take a lot of time just to walk over to claim them. I cannot wait to get this lake out of the rotation completely. Okay, we've got a couple solos right there. You know, I don't get solos here super often, so it's nice to see a couple of them here and one of them being quite a solid one at that. Couple more decent fours over there. Let's drop a shot into that guy and then... If we can, we'll try for the other one, but I mean, we kind of got to take another shot on this guy too. So I think from now on, we're just going to go until we get a level five or a rare or something as uh, once again, we're probably going to be shooting these things for quite a while. I don't want this to be a 30 minute video, so let's just fast forward to the next notable thing. Oh, oh, there we go. There's a five. There's a five, and that thing actually has a pretty solid chance of making diamond. That is one of the larger racks, if I'm not mistaken. There we go, our first level five that is likely going to make it. This is our second level five overall. Of course, it's in the zone that I barely check. This is a zone I check maybe every three or four runs. Like, it's not a super common zone for me to check. In fact, I just shot uh, something over there. There he is. I just shot that guy. I reset the time to get these other guys into their zones. I was checking over here. Not really anything aside from that three right there that needs to be shot. And then boom, level five right there in the zone that I probably checked the least out of all of them. So he's actually positioned really, really good right now. I think we might attempt a really long shot right here. This is about, I think it was like 340 ish. Yeah, it says like 340 right there. This is going to be a tough shot. But I think we can do it with the help of the Argus scope. Let's wait for him to lift his head. And that's going to be a vital hit, I believe. Yep, that's a vital hit. He's going down. Oh my gosh. That's wild. There's our buck right there. Now, I want to find the blood first because I, I want to see. Did we get a vital hit? 
I, I feel like that was a vital hit. I think we had our last five die at about the same speed from that distance with the, uh, the 308. So I think we should be okay, but I want to double check and find that blood. I mean, that's looking pretty good. That's a medium bleed rate, which is a good sign. I'm going to assume we got vitals. Yeah, that's vital blood right there. We definitely got vitals on him, which means this should be our first diamond mule deer of the grind. What rack? Oh, it's the touching brow tines rack. Yeah, this guy definitely made it then. 328, that's a diamond mule deer. Love to see it, man. That is beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Our first diamond buck of the grind. Look at how stunning he is. That's crazy. You love to see it. It's so nice to finally have another diamond mule deer. After our first one being a troll, uh, we ended up having to kill another like 30 or 40 bucks to get this guy to spawn for a total of like 125 kills on the grind. And we finally have our first diamond. That's not too bad. First diamond after 125, that's right on par with what it should be, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to shoot a few more of these bucks, just kind of finish up this run, see if we can get something else to pop. And I also want to go back to a couple of the zones that I want to shoot down and see if we got uh, low level respawns before we end the day. Well, <laughs> we have one of the tiniest twos I've ever seen, along with another incredibly tiny level two. And then we've got a bunch of threes at this zone. So we're just going to do a quick little burst of three shots on these threes. And that should be good. Bad shot on the last one, but he's going to go down anyway. And yeah, there he is. He's gone now. This other zone is looking pretty good. We can honestly leave both those threes. So I think that zone is shot down. This is uh, working out a lot better than I thought it would. We're actually making insane progress today, even just after a few runs. Ooh, that looks good. Yes, that's another level five. Let's go. We got our second level five. This is in the exact same run as well. I mean, this isn't exactly what we wanted. We kind of wanted this zone to become level twos, but I mean, you can't complain with another diamond showing up. And I think our herd management is probably starting to kick in a little bit because this is the most fives we've had in a short amount of time. Now, obviously, we're probably still way far away from being fully managed, but we're at least starting to see some, like, mild results. Let's see if we can make this shot. This should be about 300. And yes, we got him. That was a perfect shot. But the question is, will this be a diamond? Or will it just be a troll? It's a wonky one, so it's going to be questionable. But I think since this side is, I believe, the touching brow tie side... I don't think this will troll. I think this should make it. Yep, it made it 325. Two diamonds in one run. You love to see it, man. You love to see it. And that is a crazy wonky deer. I don't think I've killed a diamond mule deer that's this wonky before. Like, this is a first for me. This guy looks crazy. So we've got a few spots where I've put up mule deer in our main lodge. I don't want to replace this guy because that is a monster mule deer right there at 338 and I really don't know where we could even like replace any of the trophies in this lodge there's got to be a spot where I can put one of these guys I'm just not sure where yet you know I know this is a 275 whitetail and it's kind of a high rack but I think this buck right here honestly would be better suited to my grinding lodge so I'm just going to remember the date of 11-30-2022 and we'll put him up in one of the other lodges because I want to put this guy here. This is the most wonky diamond muley I've ever killed and I think it deserves a place in our main lodge. But anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video right here. This was a lot more successful than I thought it would be. So that was really nice to see. If you like this, leave a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed the video and let me know what you think we'll get next in this grind. And if you haven't already, hit like. It helps out a ton. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one. Peace.